Hey, what's going on? JD here. I've got another motion tutorial for you today. Today, we're gonna teach you how to make a little reminder to subscribe to a YouTube channel. So if you're a YouTube creator, you know it's a good idea to give everybody a little reminder to subscribe to your channel, just like right now. In addition to that, it's always helpful to have a little visual reminder to go along with that, and that's what the basis of today's tutorial is. All right, we're gonna open a new project. And we're gonna basically rename the first group. We're going to rename that to Rectangle. And we're gonna drop down to the Rectangle tool. We're gonna to draw ourselves a rectangle. That's not what we want, so we're going to go with the inspector. We're going to fill it, and we're going to change the fill color to red. Now, we're going to probably change that later, and we definitely don't want that outline, so we're just going to take that completely off. We're going to close that off, and we're going to kind of just put it in the center there, and that should be good for now. So we don't want it to just appear, so we're gonna move it forward. We'll say about here, we're going to go over into the properties. And we're gonna set a keyframe for scale. And that's gonna be our 100% value, so the box is 100%. And then we're just gonna go back and we're gonna set there to zero, so it'll automatically set the keyframe. So we should have a rectangle that basically goes from zero, not appearing on the screen, to 100%. That's maybe a bit long, so we're gonna make it a bit shorter. I want the transition to happen a little bit faster. So there we go. We'll shorten that a bit again. And that should be good. And now that we're happy with the rectangle, essentially we're going to create a new group and we're gonna call that YouTube logo. So basically I just pulled the YouTube logo here from the YouTube assets. You can go download that if you need be and uh, just import it to PNG. I changed the colors in Photoshop. I just changed it to red and white because I knew that I was going to basically throw it in a red banner here. So let's get this to a size that is good and that will work. Uh, or maybe that size, something like that. Now, if you notice the reds are a little bit off, so we're gonna take the color picker and select the rectangle and change it. So as you can see right there that it changed. So now they're the right colors. And as we can see that our rectangle, it grows, but our YouTube logo does not. So again, we're gonna head to the properties here and we're going to set some keyframes for the scale. So again, we're gonna go from 100% about there. And then we're gonna have that at zero so you can see they don't quite line up so as you can see the youtube logo starts appearing before the box i don't want it to look like that now we could do a couple different things but we're just going to do it quite simply adjust the keyframe so we're not growing until the box hits so and that's close enough, really kind of there. So it looks, yep, yeah, like it's just kind of zooming in. But when we play it in full speed, obviously it's gonna go, actually I'm gonna adjust that a bit. So you can just basically move the keyframes to adjust it to a point where you like it. And that's all I'm doing here, and that's it's looking not too bad now. May, actually, maybe a bit late. I'd kind of like it to start about there. There we go. Much better. So 
So as you can see, once you've kind of set your keyframes, you can select them all or select them individually like I have here, and you can adjust sort of your, your how quickly everything scales right there and then. So I'm just gonna play with that a bit more. And I think we are good enough. So let's let's start a new group. And we're just gonna call this text. And now we're going to basically insert the text. So I want the the rectangle and the YouTube logo to almost be at full. And we're not gonna do anything fancy with the text. We could, but it's it's going to work well enough just as a straight interjection of the text is just going to kind of appear this all happens very fast so we're going to click here and we're going to click on our fonts and we're going to select roboto because that's the youtube font so we're going to make that a bit bigger and we're going to adjust and put that kind of in the middle and we're going to have to make some adjustments here i don't like how this is kind of looking at the moment YouTube logo is way too small. Okay, we'll enlarge that. So that's at 100%. So we're going to kind of line it up to the top, I think, or maybe the middle. Top, middle. It's tough to stay. Any way I look at it, that this rectangle is a bit too big. So let's adjust that. Let's make the size a bit smaller. That looks a little bit better. I'm just going to move everything around to kind of where I want it to be. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe adjust the size a bit. And center. Maybe a bit smaller. No, that's too small. And condensed doesn't look right, so we're going to go back to light. So anytime you're making anything like this, obviously you can make some visual choices. You can use whatever font you like and get it to a point where you're happy with it. And I think that's about the right size and that's probably where I want to put it there. So there you go. All said and done. So we go there. Okay, now I inadvertently, when I adjusted the size, I changed it so the keyframes Kind of made it bigger and then smaller. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to select the keyframe here. And I'm just going to basically delete the keyframe. And that should rectify everything. There you go. Back to normal. So there you have it. Your YouTube subscribe. And you can trim that down to whatever size you like. And we can just export that now and it'll be ready to go. So I hope you found that tutorial helpful to add a little subscribe banner to your YouTube videos to give that little visual boost to help remind people to click that button. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let us know below what you'd like to see in the future. And make sure, check back in. See ya.